Now, the former lead singer with the Welsh rock group Lost Profits has pleaded guilty to a string of sex offences, included the in attempted rape of a baby. Uh, yeah, uh, I think the answer to who is the most evil artist or musician of all time is Ian Watkins. There is a long list of horribly fucked up celebrities out there, and I think Ian Watkins is somewhere towards the top of that list. He's shocking. He's just shocking. What the f***? Ugh. Well, there's one band I'll never be able to listen to ever again. Great! Ian Watkins is someone who I think should have gotten the death penalty, if not a life sentence. Because like I said, I don't think you can do much worse than rape a baby. And just imagine having a child. Some of you may already have children. And imagine this happening to your child. Whether or not this was his or somebody else's child, and whether or not rape actually occurred or if it was just a conspiracy to do so, it's still just depraved and disgusting beyond belief. The most shocking and harrowing child abuse evidence I have ever seen. There is no doubt in my mind that Ian Watkins has exploited his celebrity status in order to abuse young children. Hi, I'm Batman with a tiny dick, and welcome back to Content Come. And today's video is going to be different. Today's video is about an individual who has committed disgusting and sinister acts. So, if you can't handle any of the details I'm about to share with you, or if you find any of it triggering, I would completely understand why you clicked off this video. But if you're into this kind of shit, then... You're a fucking weird cunt. So if you live under a rock and you don't know who Ian Watkins is, I'll explain. Ian Watkins was a singer or frontman for the band Lost Profits. You may know this band for the songs Rooftops, Last Summer, Last Train Home, and many others. But Ian had a very dark secret, and that secret was... Now, the former lead singer with the Welsh rock group Lost Profits has pleaded guilty to a string of sex offences, including the in attempted rape of a baby. Cardiff Crown Court heard that Ian Watkins was seen on video abusing a child, and that he'd spoken of plans to get a baby hooked on hard drugs by blowing crystal meth smoke into its face. So yeah, Ian Watkins was caught for raping a baby. A fucking baby. <sighs> fucking disgusting. And Ian did this on many occasions. To the point where Ian was even spitting on the poor boy. And all of his victims were exposed to crystal meth, to crack cocaine. 
He was basically fucking forcing his victims to take drugs. He also had photos and videos of extreme porn. There were 22 images of bestiality, including oral and vaginal sex with dogs. And trust me when I say this, that's not even half of it. In March 2007, he met an underage girl after contacting him saying that she was a fan. And mind you, she was only 16 at the time. Alright, I really want you to get this in your head. Now I've done some serious math here. Like some serious math. Now since Ian Watkins was born in 1977, and we're in 2007, and this girl was only 16 at the time, that would mean that Ian Watkins was only 30 years old. He was in his early 30s, meeting up with a 16 year old girl. And just the aspect of taking this girl's virginity made Ian a bit excited. So she flew from Boston to New York and went to a hotel where Ian was staying at. Ian got this girl to dress in a schoolgirl's outfit and he filmed himself fucking this girl. He asked whether if she enjoyed being his underage slut. And at the end of the video, he pissed all over her face and told her to drink it. August 2008, just one year after his first stunt with the other girl, he met another girl who was also 16, I believe, and once again, he filmed her having oral sex with him. And apparently, in the video, she was snorting cocaine, which he told her it was cocaine. And you know, fucking kids and taking drugs seems to be a big thing with Ian Watkins. And whether or not the sex was consensual or not, it's still fucking disgusting, am I right? Now, if any other predator, when they get caught, they usually try and deny it. They'll use the excuse of, Oh, I wasn't going to do anything. I was just going to tell her that she shouldn't be doing all this stuff. Or, they'll just straight up fucking lie. But Ian Watkins is different. He didn't deny being a predator. He didn't lie about being a predator. In fact, he was very fucking open about being a pedophile. Ian didn't fucking hide nothing. In fact, he was so open about being a pedophile, one of his passwords on one of his computers was I FUCK KIDS! Like, no bullshit. If you go on a news article, it's there. He pretty much acted like this was normal. Like everyone fucking does it. And Ian Watkins even defended himself of being a predator. What would you say to people who call this hobby creepy and weird? The usual people who, who call it creepy, who call it weird, are people who haven't actually had the pleasure. Oh my fucking... Ah! People who call it creepy and weird actually haven't had the pleasure. Ugh. Like, Ian, there's nothing you can do worse than rape a fucking baby! This isn't a case of you collecting lizards! It's not like you have a shrine of Ryan Reynolds. We're talking about you fucking kids here. Of course, it's creepy and weird. Actually, it's more than just creepy and weird. It's fucking disgusting. You're disgusting. Now, in the 2010 interview on MySpace, someone asked him, I'm a baby, 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 baby girl. Ask, what's your guilty pleasure? So if you don't know what he means by that, I'll explain. Someone called Baby Girl asked him what's his guilty pleasure. And he responds with, you just answered it. So basically what he's saying is, his guilty pleasure is babies. I am not making this shit up. He's generally that fucked. Ian Watkins is basically the white R. Kelly. Next. I see I cannot be forsaken because I oh. 
Oh, tastes like my uncle's pubes. <coughs> Fuck. Want to hear a tragic tale about the greatest betrayals in history? Now, you would think that when a mother hears that their child was being sexually abused, they would seek justice or at least want to kill their child's abuser. Yeah. You would think that, wouldn't you? But no! These mothers were perfectly fine with it. One of these mothers met Ian Watkins in late 2011. And she was only 19 when she met him. But she had a baby with another man and after they broke up, she was back to contacting Ian once again. They had communications in March and April 2012. The baby was only 10 months old at the time. She might have been manipulated by Ian Watkins, but she's the mother of her baby boy. A mother is supposed to protect their child. But instead, she does this. She had detailed discussions with Ian Watkins about the sexual acts, which the two of them were going into the subject of the baby. On March 21st, 2012, Ian Watkins sent a text message saying this. Come down this weekend and we could fuck him again. The mother texts back saying, Tell me if you want to get your dick in our boy. And this led up to a session in a hotel in London. And on the night of April 2nd slash April 3rd, 2012, recorded on video, she presented her baby to Ian Watkins so he can try and rape him. And she was heard and seen encouraging him. Yeah, I know. So, what happened after this? On May 24th, she sent Ian Watkins a text message saying, The boy is ready to be abused. And then, on the 2nd of August, Ian's message to her was, To be honest though, I think I've gone crazy on him so far. Time to teach him and make him learn to love it. And they met in a hotel in Cardiff, Wales. Now, here's where I fucking draw the line. On the 9th of September, 2012, the mother sent a photo to Ian Watkins of her licking her own son's penis. It's bad enough that Ian Watkins is abusing this kid, but his own fucking mother? Who rates their own kid? I need more. Anyway, time to learn about the second mother. Pretty good cancer. Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. <coughs> Yummy. Uh oh. Now, this mother's communications with Ian started in August 2012. And it didn't take long for the conversation to turn into the subject of child sexual abuse. There was even talk of moving in together. Ian Watkins said, If you belong to me, so does your baby. And then the mother replies with, Understandable. A mother, a daughter, slave do a worshipping you. And then the absolute piece of shit Ian Watkins replied with, That's all she would know. A life of filth. And this mother just happened to say, The good thing about babies is put anything near their mouths and they'll start sucking it. She went on to talk about how her and her daughter would share Ian's penis with their tongues. <coughs> and these communications were planning even more disgusting activities for this little girl. Like forcing her to have sex with animals and taking drugs. 
Ian Watkins referred to this little girl as my little fuck toy. Basically calling her a sexual object for his sick fucking pleasure. He even said that he could not wait for the mother and the daughter to take crack cocaine. Ian spoke of hoarding this little girl to old fat men who would pay thousands. And if you don't know what hoarding is, it's basically having unlawful sex with or as a prostitute. And then Ian Watkins went on to say, she needs to know that mommy and daddy don't love her. He's just there to make us come. He talked about torturing this girl for fun and it just gets worse from here. The mother took photos of this little girl's genitals and then sent them to Ian, pretty much passing on child porn, only it's her own daughter. She even fingered her and then took a photo of it and then sent them to, guess who, Ian. Ian's response to this was, I can't wait to stretch her. On the 12th of September, 2012, these two had a Skype call where Ian encouraged this mother to spit on her finger and then finger her own daughter. And Ian was jerking off throughout. But yeah, you pretty much get the gist of everything. And honestly, I can't talk about these mothers anymore. It's just, it's making me sick. In court today, he was barely audible, offering guilty pleas to a series of horrific sexual offences, including the attempted rape of a boy who was just 11 months old. And in the dock beside him was the mother of that boy, as well as the mother of a little girl, both of whom pleaded guilty to helping the 36-year-old singer sexually assault their babies. They can't be named for legal reasons. There you are, you fucking gronk! Hey! Are you Jared? No, I'm Jimmy. Oh, Jeremy. That's not my... Anyway, so what do you need? <sighs> well, I heard... I heard you sell guns. Oh! I think I know what you need. Yep. Yep, you... You already know, some of my panties. No, that's not what I wanted. <coughs> 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 oh, I need to take a shower. Ugh. Why do I have a boner? No, I don't, I don't want it. Are you sure? They smell great. I'm pretty sure it smells great. I'm pretty sure it smells like dick cheese, but that's really not what I'm after. Oh, I definitely know what you need this time. Ah, I knew you were just joking around with me. I knew you wouldn't actually. A mistake. What the fuck is that? You want him? He's an accident. I, no. Yeah, I get it. He's annoying. So if you don't want panties, and you don't want an accident, what do you want? I wanted a gun. That's why we're here. I'm here for a gun. Oh, why didn't you just fucking say so? I tried telling you that! Here you go. Did you just pull this out of your fucking ass? Maybe. Ew. And no, you don't have to pay me. It's on the house. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. Oh, can you do me one last favor? Yeah, what do you want? Can you get me a location on a, uh... On a, uh, Ian Watkins? You know, the singer from Lost Prophets. Ooh. 
I don't know if I could do that, but I know a guy who can. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll give him a call. Um, I I'm gonna go now. I I'll, s I'll see you later. <sighs> Alright, see ya! Fuck face. Hey, buddy. Hey, listen, can you do me a favor? I need a location on a uh, Mr. Ian Watkins. Done. All right, see you, man. Hey, um, hey, can you uh, get me those yellow condoms? I'm really enjoying that banana flavor. Okay, bye, sweetie. Wait, what the fuck did I just say? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh. It's a long fall. Hey! Oh fuck. Get back here! Oh shit. Oh. Oh, no. This batch, I got a 135 escape convict. Convict name, Ian David Watkins. Ian, you're only making this harder for yourself. Shit. Babies. Get your cute little ass over here! We finally got to the sake of break. Fuck! The shit I do for this job! <laughs> Dispatch, the convicts got away. I'm free, motherfuckers. Hey, I'm gonna put my yank in your stake. I'm gonna do that to a kid. What the fuck? Do that to me, you cunt. Dispatch, I'm gonna have to put a, I'm gonna have to put a search out. Fucking cunt. I'm gonna get fired. I'm gonna rub my nipples in shame. Oh. Oh, I'm such a dirty cop. Oh, 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 oh. That's enough. That's enough. I'm free. Finally. And there's water. Babies, I'm coming to find you. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh shit. I want to let you guys know on a little fucking discovery I've made. So I was doing my research for this very video and I managed to find some DMs of Ian Watkins. But hold on, I didn't find all of them. So some of these DMs will be out of order. But I'll try and give you guys some context behind these messengers. Choking on some cock. <coughs> So basically a woman in her 20s who was a fan of Ian Watkins and she also had a 10 year old daughter might I add. So this woman had a relationship with Ian from 2004 to 2011. So basically he saw a photo of her daughter when she was only 7 and a few years later he said that her daughter and him would make a good couple. So on March 4th 2011 the woman asked him to DJ for her 10 year old daughter's birthday party. Only if I could fuck her. Winky face. You know that is so wrong and I should stop talking to you for that. <laughs> Seriously Ian? Seriously? She was even talking to him on Skype and he wanted the mother to get the daughter from the other room so she can see how hot he was and so that she can tell him how much she wanted him. And he was even fucking masturbating. Oh, so he invited this woman over to Los Angeles and he begged her by saying, Fly here this weekend, please. You can stay as long as you want. And you know, if you're a good girl, I'll get you a green card for the US. You have a green card? I'm kind of a big deal, you know? I think you forget that, smiley. If you want, I'll introduce you all to the porn peeps. And you can go fuck whatever online winners you flirt with online that live here. Use and abuse all the groovy sluts I know at your pleasure. You're pretty much the only girl I fully respected. And who has kept my intention and lust. Are you serious? And the fuckhead actually sent a photo of his penis. <laughs> I wonder if I can use that for lube. Hey cutie, why don't you come over and suck my dick? Mr. Ian Watkins is located in the south of town. Good luck. So what happened to Ian after he did all this putrid shit? Well, he got busted. Now you'd think the band Lost Profits that Ian Watkins was in would break up, right? And which they did shortly after Ian got busted. So some say that he got 29 years, some people say that he got 35 years in prison. But in my opinion, it doesn't matter how many years he got in prison, I think he should have got the death penalty. They should have strapped him in the electric chair without a sponge and kept electrocuting him until he was black as charcoal. Until he was black like my anus. Or if not, a life sentence. I mean, do you really want someone like this going out on the streets and fucking molesting more babies? No, no, I don't, I don't think you want that at all. So give him the death penalty. Put him on death row. Do it. Now the mothers that were involved and let Ian Watkins did what he did, also got some time in prison. And it was less 
that Ian got. And one of the mothers lost custody of one of their children, which is good. It's a good thing, but it's not going to heal the damage that this bitch has done to a kid. So to these kids of these mothers, wherever you are, I hope you're okay. Now, when Ian Watkins was in prison, he would often write letters to another mother. And just like the DMs, not all of them got leaked. But I will show you some of the letters that did. Holy shit, his handwriting is so hard to read. Your Instagram is full of selfies, so stop being a douche and send me a few. Not much to ask, is it? So yeah, I think it was it for now. I'm bored waiting to hear from you. Oh, also, I can always add your number on my phone, actually. Ian, learn to fucking write. If you want, up to you, in it. No pressure, let me know, girl. Love, trouble. Okay, just in case you're confused about the mobile phone part, I'll explain. Now, I know what you're thinking. How the fuck did he get a mobile phone? Like, he's not allowed to have a mobile phone in prison, right? Well, you're right. Apparently, Ian Watkins hid a mobile phone inside of his asshole and also got given an extra 10 months in prison for possessing a mobile phone. Good on you, Ian. Fucking idiot. I still have the gold letter, by the way. Should I just bring it back? Or do you still want it at some point? To be fair, I don't think you're ready for that type of knowledge just yet. But you'll know. If you'll truly decide to stop fucking around and bring your end sneering A game from now on, you might convince me. Later, fascinator. Love, boy wonder. Not sure it's true or not, but the more Tony. Tony, who the fuck's Tony? Anyway. The more Tony talks shit about you, the more I like you. Weird, huh? So, just to recap, in case there's any confusion, the next things I want from you are your phone number and lots of hot pics. Think you can handle that? I guess we'll see. Clock's ticking. Love, the king of dancers. P.S. Read this letter a few times so it sinks in your head. And this just proves that when Ian Watkins was in prison, he did not fucking change whatsoever. And he probably still hasn't. Now, when Ian Watkins got arrested, and of course, the police would have taken him in for questioning. And when he was being questioned, again, he did not hide nothing. And when Ian Watkins said why he was abusing all these kids, he said he did it for mega lols. Like, child molestation was like a stand-up comedy show for Ian Watkins. And it really goes to show that you cannot trust the justice system so yeah give ian watkins the death penalty or don't ever let him out of prison i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that don't want this cunt on the streets and it's just unforgivable on what he did to these children unforgivable In late 2009, Ian Watkins did an interview where he thought it was a good idea to talk shit about a popular vocalist, which you might know him from Linkin Park. Yes, Chester Bennington. One of the greatest vocalists of all time. The dude's a fucking legend. Anyway, so Ian does this interview and he just puts Chester Bennington on blast. I remember when we were opening for them. Linkin Park? Yeah, the singer of Linkin Park is a fucking tool as You're well. You're not the first person I've heard say that. He's a fucking... The rest of the band are nice. The rest of the band right are, are, made, are really, really cool, but that singer is a fucking tit. Right. You know what I mean? He's just an idiot. 
he's an idiot. Or does he just think he's got the, the rock star? Yeah, no, he is. Yeah, totally. Just completely insulting him. Now, this might not be true, but I think the only reason why Ian talked shit about Chester was because previously, Chester called out child abusers or pedophiles. As we all know, Ian Watkins is one. So basically, the only reason he cracked the shits with Chester Bennington was because Chester called out his kind. Now, that might not be true, but it wouldn't be fucking surprising if it was. And this just shows how little respect he has for anyone. Ian Watkins does not care about anyone else but himself. I mean, this dude raped a baby and he's calling out someone who's against people like that. So your little sayings and your little points, they don't fucking matter. And you know why? Because you're a sick prick. Anyway, rest in peace, Chester Bennington. To conclude, to any victims of CSA, child sexual abuse, there are no words in any language to describe how sorry I am for the pain, suffering, and trauma that you've had to experience. But now, it's time to take action. In the description, I have left two links to two websites that will help you. Nomoredirectory.org and Cybertip.org. It's time to show your abusers that they fucked with the wrong person. And please, 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 never, ever give up. And Ian Watkins, go fuck yourself, you disgusting ass cunt. Anyway, I got something to take care of.
like same in my